We're starting off here um, assembling a drain on a ducted system. So I've got all the parts down here on the floor and I'll run through what we're using today. So we've got two lengths of insulation to be able to cover our, insulate our drain. Um, we've got our drain kit that's, that we put together for every ducted system. Once I open it all up, we'll go through all the parts. The manufacturer offer also a flexible joint and some insulation as well. We'll go through those parts as well. Um, our primer and our glue, so that they're our pressure pipe glue. Um, our pressure pipe itself, so that's a 20 mil tube. Um, a tape measure, a rag, because this always spills all the time, so to wipe it up. Our conduit cutters, some duct tape to help tape that insulation on. A Stanley knife, impact driver, some fix-ins as well. Um, and a multi-tool which we might need to notch out um, when we get there. All right, so I've got the flexible joint that comes with this particular model. So this is a Dakin system. Um, it just allows us to be able to connect straight up to the unit and give us a nice flexible joint. So if we want to direct the water in a certain way, it's easy to do so. Um, we'll open up our kit. It's got all the parts that we need. So at the start, we will dummy fit everything before we secure it all into place because we need to glue it and come backwards with it. So first up on our system will be our, our P-trap. So we've got a short little connection which allows us to then connect this to this. And then we'll continue through from that point on. Obviously we, we need to turn it to run towards our roof there, our roof gutter. So I'm gonna need some timbers to help secure a lot of this as well. So what we'll be doing is We'll be bringing up some timber from this point up, allow, to, allow us to saddle up and continue down. All right. So from this point, um, what I will first do is glue this part onto here, and then I'll be able to glue this straight onto there. In the meantime, I'll also cut a little bit of insulation to be able to feed over the top of it so it's properly insulated. So I'll start off by doing that. Probably remove these, these caps because they get in the way and we can put them on afterwards. So all this actually all comes apart, as you can see. I'll just dummy all this up, make sure all this is gonna work. So that actually comes over the top. That looks pretty good. I might just tear out a little bit more. Okay, we'll start with our primer, so our primer just primes the, the material to be able to um, stick to it. As I mentioned, a rag's always handy because it does drip everywhere. While I'm at it, I'll prime both sides. That at least takes a second to dry. And then we put down our our 
glue. On the internal part of it here, are all the parts we're gonna glue afterwards. That can make a bit of a mess. So we'll slide our insulation over. pretty much done so we want to make sure that it's pushed in nice and straight in line so we can actually glue the next part of this um, trap And as we go, we will insulate and glue and insulate and keep on going. So then we make sure that um, everything's perfectly sealed. And we also completely insulate so we don't get any condensation and water leaks. Prime up and glue the next piece. Let that seal. All right, so this drain, because we're gonna route it down towards the gutter on that end, we're actually gonna have to put a turn on it. So the good thing about this flexible joint allows us to do so. So what I'll do is put a brace here to support it from this end, and then we'll continue down the other way Got some timbers here that I've cut earlier. That will make our job a little bit easier. So I'll just fix that. Yep. All right, so now that's, that's installed. We can continue with uh, running the rest of the drain from this point down to the, to the gutter. We'll start off with our, with our drain tube. So I've connected this part together, but we'll pull it apart and re-glue it. So this is gonna give us an indication of where it needs to go. We'll continue now from our P-trap down to our gutter. I'll go over there and we'll cut a notch. I'll show you how that's done. So I'll take the bits and pieces that I need to be able to do it all. So what we're trying to do is bring the drain out through the part of the tile that steps up. That way it gives us a nice valley to be able to fit the drain. If we were to position it somewhere here, the tile's never gonna sit back into place properly. So we'll remove that tile. We're already in that position. We can now notch out what we need. I'll just grab a marker to be able to do that so we've got that position. Again, I'll just double check that's in the right spot. It's pretty good. got this through now work our way sort of from the drain back this way and then we'll work out our length So on the end here, we will put an elbow 
just allows, um, make sure the water runs straight out. And if we really look at this gutter, it's actually got to fall down this way. So what we want to meet is find the nearest downpipe. So if the downpipe's closer to one side versus the other, that's where we're going to direct our drain. So right now, I'll just cut this guy back. Then we'll be able to add our elbow onto that. Before that happens, I'm gonna have to glue the joint, feed insulation over the whole lot, and then finish off this part. So I'm gonna leave a little bit more on the end. That's gonna allow us to overlap the P-trap part of it all. So I'll notch out the same sort of way like I did before to be able to um, fit all that around it. All right, now we can push that right over. And again, prime at the end. Our pressure pipe glue. Yep. All right, so we'll now head on over to our cutter side of things. We'll finish up this end. And the way that's going to happen is, again, we'll primer up our surfaces. All right, so again, I'm tilting that slightly down towards the way of the water flow. We've got our J saddle, and that will allow us to saddle that right into this position. That end's done. We can put our roof tile back on. As you can see, the tile sits nice and flat. And our drain comes out um, down the gutter of the, the water flow. All right, as we can see now, we've got some sag here, and that's only gonna get worse over time, and especially when it's full of water. So we'll put some more braces like we did over there. I would probably put another one here and another one here. Pretty secure. Okay, so what we want to want to make sure is we've got a good fall. The best way to measure that when you're up in a roof is just using your tape measure, making sure that we're constantly stepping up. And good rule of thumb is every one meter we drop it down by 25 mil. And I've got exactly that. So that, that secures it very well, so we don't get any sag along the drain pipe. And at the same time, um, if anybody gets up in the roof and climbs over it or something like that, it's, it's pretty secure. It doesn't get knocked out of place or can't come out of the drain no matter how hard we pull on it.